Evening guys, hope everybody's having a wonderful Thursday afternoon. I'm out here cleaning up a little brush, doing a little maintenance on the yard. Want to talk to you guys. I figured I'd just put it over here on my YouTube channel. Uh, I seen a, a post over on Facebook and it was a, about, it was a share of a, uh, of a cockfighting bus. And it was shared into a group. And the people in this group were all putting down some real knowledgeable, logical answers, comments. Every one of them will get. The only problem with that is, is the same problem that we've had since the early 80s that I can remember. Because that before the early 80s, I was just too damn young, didn't pay attention to what they were saying anyway. At the cockpits... <clears throat> They would have the UGBA man or whatever that GBA guy was. He would come in there and uh, he'd say a nice spiel. Everybody would, yeah, 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 I get to rally the troops. Guess what? He's preaching to the choir. Everybody there had done heard it. There was nobody there gaining no knowledge. They were just telling each other what everybody already knew. If you want to make a change, if you want to be part of a change and have your voice heard, when you see one of those negative posts on the rooster business, on the game fowl industry, go to the original post. Go to the in, the entity that is shared, has put it out there. Has put it out there, the original one. Place your comments there. See, that way, because more than likely, if it's a negative post on game fowl, it's going to be a Karen group. You know, there's going to be a lot of Karens on there. And what the only way you're ever going to make a change in this world is by expressing your views and sharing your knowledge to people who don't know anything about a game chicken. Okay? Once they see that you're knowledgeable and that, that you have logic and you're stating facts, they're going to take an interest. Not all of them, but any that you get will be better than what you have now. And you'll get a lot. Because the most average everyday working guy and lady, they, they couldn't give two shits about chicken unless it's make sure it's well done. They love a chicken. Everybody loves chicken. Shit. There ain't very many people can't say they don't like chicken in one form or another. It's delicious. It's my favorite meal. Anyway, that being said, that's what you, that's how Guam, uh, Puerto Rico, and now the Philippines has the online gambling. You know, this, all, this is all getting repetitive and irrelevant. With what's going on in other places in the world right now with the game file industry, this is all getting to be about as dumb as a bucket of rocks. Because anybody in the world, there's, there's no spectating out of cockfight anymore. All you got to do if you want to spectate to log on. And everybody logs on. I mean, even if they're negative, they'll log on. They're spectating. Even if they're looking at it to try to come up with something bad about it, they're still spectating. So that, that, that's got to be abolished eventually. Anyway, post your, I don't want to get off into that because I'm not sure about these things. If you have a comment about something negative in the game file industry and, and you want your view to be heard to the world, go to the original post. Don't share it. That's how you'll get change. Because Puerto Rico, Guam, those countries... Mexico now, I'll say they come out with a bunch of positive stuff on cockfighting, their, 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 their media has. Uh, go to the original post and let your view be heard. More people are going to chime in. Somebody's going to come to your rescue because they're going to jump on you. They usually do. Uh, you know, somebody, all them Karens are going to gang up right at first until they see exactly what the common working man and woman feels about it, okay? God bless you guys. I'm having a wonderful day. It's a beautiful day here in East Texas. Thank you.